Hello everyone. I wanted to do a little video on how to connect this uh, Ublox GPS receiver um, onto a flight controller, um, specifically the uh, HGLRC um, F4 V5 Pro flight controller that I have here. Um, so, um, Basically, on this uh, U-Blox receiver, you have uh, four wires. The green one, uh, as you can see in this diagram, is the uh, five volt power that it requires. The yellow one is the, the ground. Uh, black is the TX UART line, and the red is the um, RX UART line. So in the uh, manual for the uh, uh, the, the flight controller I'm connecting to. I already have a camera connected to um, uh, these lines and an LED strip connected to these lines. Um, and then the receiver is obviously connected over here. So uh, as you can see, there's no other connections for five volt out and ground. Um, so what I did was uh, I used um, over here on the board, there were uh, a five volt. There was a five volt uh, pad. Sorry, right here, and a uh, ground. So I actually uh, I checked it with a multimeter, and it was giving five volts out. So I connected the uh, power and ground to that uh, those pads on the flight controller, which, as I said before. Um, Green is the five volt and yellow was the ground. So for the uh, TX and RX lines, the red and black uh, wires coming out of the U-Blox GPS receiver, um, I chose, let's see, we'll go back to the, the manual here. Um, you have a couple options. You have the RX and TX1. Uh, you don't want to use that because um, uh, that is already that is the main uh, serial RX connection that's being used for um, uh, the I think USB, but uh, so then that leaves you with the TX3 and TX uh, RX6 uh, UARTs that are available on, on the, for this flight controller. So I went ahead and used TX3 RX3. So um, let's go back over here. So it's kind of hard to see, but. Um, uh, beneath this, it was this uh, this Molex connection. I think that's what they call it. But uh, it was the red, sorry, the blue and yellow wires on that. Um, you can figure that out uh, by looking at the manual. But then I, so I connected those. As you can see, the blue and yellow wires to the uh, red and black, and make sure that you connect the uh, TX line to the RX line on the board and, and also with the RX line. Um, you, they basically need to go RX to TX and TX to RX. So make sure you do that connection um, the right way. Okay, so once you have um, all those four wires connected to power, ground, TX and RX, um, then you can go ahead and um, uh, hook up to Betaflight and and, config, and and do the configuration uh, in Betaflight. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to connect. Um, as you can see, I already have it uh, set up. Uh, so the GPS icon is um, sh uh, highlighted up here, showing the GPS is enabled. And down here it gives uh, the GPS information that it is currently receiving. Uh, so to get that set up right, you want to go to your ports tab. Uh, this is specific to the uh, HGLRC uh, F4 V5 Pro. So um, if you don't have that flight controller, th this will be different for you probably. So as I said before, I used the TX and RX3 UART port on the uh, flight controller. So um, what you need to do on that is just go to the sensor input column, uh, select GPS from the drop down, and uh, I think I did auto, and then it 
figured it out that it was uh, 57,600 for the uh, baud rate. So uh, you're gonna wanna set that, save and reboot on that screen. And then um, on the configuration tab, you're gonna wanna go down to the GPS um, area, enable that. Uh, it's gonna be the UBlox protocol and have the uh, auto baud and auto config on. And then once you enable those, save and reboot. And then if everything's connected properly, it should start showing you GPS information um, on the setup, uh, setup tab here. Uh, and you'll also want to obviously set up your OSD display, on-screen display to, uh, oops, wrong one, your, your OSD to show the GPS information once you get it working right. So you can do GPS speed, GPS stats, uh, or sorry, satellites, number of satellites shown up here, and then the Latin, la, uh, GPS latitude and longitude. Um, right here. So uh, hope this video helps uh, everyone um, and happy flying.